Hello, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to investigate if the given function has removable or non-removable discontinuities. And the given function is a rational function. Uh, the top piece is a polynomial as well as the bottom piece that's a quadratic. To investigate um, points where the function has a removable, removable or non-removable discontinuities, we're going to check if the bottom of the function becomes zero for certain x's. So here the bottom function is x squared. So here the bottom function is x squared minus x minus 6. And we want to investigate if there is any x that makes this zero, the bottom zero. Well, this is a quadratic, and we know how to solve uh, a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. Uh, you can perfectly use that, but we can also factor this quadratic as x minus 3x plus 2 to get that one of the roots coming out of the quadratic formula is 3, and the other one is negative 2. Right? So we have two x's where the bottom of the rational function becomes zero. So these are going to be good candidates of uh, discontinuities, but we have, to, we have to decide which one is removable, which one is not. For the removable discontinuities, you should not have a vertical asymptote. So we should check if you get number at the top divided by zero at the bottom at, uh, at those points. So let's check if f is defined. So so f of um, 3, well, they're not defined, but uh, we're just checking the form here, f of negative 2. So if you look at uh, f at 3, so this is going to be 3 plus 2, which is 5. And 3 is, is, the, is the 0 of the bottom, so it's going to be almost like 5 over 0. That's going to make this undefined, okay? So, but it's undefined in a sense that the values, when you get closer to x equals 3 from left or right, the function values increase or decrease without a bound. So if you investigate the limit at 3 from the left or from the right, um, they are going to tend to plus or minus infinity. So this kind of continuity is not removable. And we can immediately say, like, this is non-removable. OK? How about x equals negative 2? Like 0 over 0, which is undefined. But when we have 0, 0, 0 over 0 type in determinate form, we always try to use algebra to simplify the function. So in the next step, I'm going right, to simplify For x the equals function. negative 2, remember that the top and the bottom become 0 simultaneously. So then we're going to investigate if there is any common factor between the top and the bottom. So to do that, I'm going to use the factorization that I got in the previous step. That was x minus 3, x plus 2, and at the top, x plus 2 is the factor, right? It's good news that I can use a divide out, dividing out technique. So in turn, you have x 1 over x minus 3. So this is a simpler version of the given rational function. Whenever x is not equal to negative 2. And, and if you do the limit calculation now, as x approaches negative 2 for f, well, since I found a simpler version of the function, and I'm just going to go ahead and plug in negative 2 uh, for x, because this function is defined at negative 2, so that's going to give me negative 1 over 5. So if I redefine f, in a way that f of x is, is exactly what you have over there, x plus 2, x squared minus x minus 6, whenever x is not equal to negative 2. But at x equals negative 2, originally this function is not defined at x equals negative 2, but what we did was like simplified uh, we simplified uh, this rational expression to get another function, but that function has a limit value. So if I, if I assign this limit value up here, you're done. 
So redefined function becomes continuous at x equals negative 2. So for that reason, we can make x equals negative 2 uh, a removable discontinuity. Here the conclusion is that x equals negative 2 is a removable discontinuity. And as a quick side comment, if you graph this rational function um, around x equals 3, remember that we had a, a vertical asymptote here, um, this kind of like discontinuity is not removable because even if you define the function at this point, still the limit on the left or on the right of the function, the limit value would not be the same as the function value. So you can easily say that this is a non-removable type discontinuity. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.